Guys, I've got a really great shipping video for you again today and uh, we're going to talk about some beautiful guitars that we have here. I'm also going to tell you about the um, Design Our Dream Guitar competition that we just completed on Wednesday and, uh, and that was a huge success. We've got a beautiful winner, um, the amazing design that, uh, that was the winning design and uh, we're going to tell you about that in a minute. But what we've got here is uh, three really nice X7s. Uh, one of them here very nicely customized with uh, black inlays and fan frets. We're going to have a look at those. We've got four Virtuos, uh, two black carbon, uh, two really nice woodies. And that's a really nice way to see contrast between what the carbon is and what the wood veneers do. Two black carbon X20s, uh, very nicely appointed with very nice pickup systems and uh, nice inlays on the fretboard. Uh, married with two very customized X20s here with uh, uh, wood veneer and uh, this one with an amazing piece of artwork by Phil Atkinson and um, so you definitely want to have a look at these guitars and uh, so that's it that's been a, a very interesting week um, I've been on the road I went to Glasgow to see Polyphia uh, if you haven't seen Polyphia you gotta you gotta watch those guys and uh, just what they're doing for the guitar community I think is incredible uh, amazing to be among a couple of thousand people that are just loving guitar music and uh, Great to see a, an instrumental band doing so, so well. Um, and, uh, and what Tim is doing on, uh, on his nylon guitar just kind of blew my mind, to be quite honest. So that was my own little personal adventure uh, this week. No connection. Uh, we're not working with them, unfortunately. Uh, so just I should actually say that in case rumors start to go, Emerald's working with Polyphia. Not the case. Um, but competition. Uh, dream guitar competition was really cool so you guys went on to the 3d builder designed your dream guitar submitted your designs did a couple other things and we had 2400 odd um, entries which was really fantastic we uh, did a random draw for the winner and uh, and the winner was David Vega from California and uh, so he designed a beautiful Camara guitar and uh, he sent us a couple of messages uh, so um, my name is uh, David Vega. I'm truly shocked. I just opened your email and looked at the YouTube video you posted to see and read the exciting news uh, that my name is, was randomly picked. As soon as I came across your ads online showcasing your guitars, I was in love. In so many ways, they are truly works of art. Uh, so thanks for that note, David. But I also found this uh, message that he posted on his uh, music page, which is uh, Lucifer's Axe Official. Uh, so I think that's the name of his band and uh, what he says here about the guitar I thought this really kind of captures what it was all about uh, now this is a guitar that truly only lived in my dreams for the first time in my life I could actually visualize what I could only see in my mind's eye a, a guitar that not only lived in my dreams but in my fantasies a guitar that has lived in the back of my mind for most of my life even before I started to play music it has been there waiting to be freed so I took a deep breath and submitted my design and the thought that at least I have a photo of a part of my soul. Now it's sometimes hard to, uh, for me to put my feelings into words, but the universe is truly amazing. Poke me, slap me, pinch me, hit me. Hell, you can even bite me, but this is no dream. Wow. So I thought that was beautiful words and uh, really sums up what we were hoping to achieve. You know, the, the builder allows you to, to build a dream guitar and uh, you know you can do it there in 3d and hopefully you're in a position to be able to buy that guitar but if you're not it's actually really cool to be able to take and visualize uh, your dream guitar and uh, you know that dream may come reality if uh, if you're in that position but um, yeah so really congratulations on that and uh, and we we love doing it we love seeing all the different designs there's so many different designs submitted and um, you know it kind of inspires us seeing how you guys use the builder and how you put them together and really it was like a big extension of what we do here every week you know we look at all these different designs that you guys have built and uh, gives us a deeper insight into and in, into how you choose the different specifications and um, you know not to keep talking on too much because you want to look at guitars but we made a decision, I think about eight years ago, to move to selling direct instead of through a dealer. The reason we did that, and no disrespect for the guitar stores that are out there, they do a great service to the, to the guitar community. But when we sell guitars to a guitar shop, we're selling a guitar that matches what the buyer is looking for. They're looking generally for something that's a little bit more conservative, appeals to the masses and might fit everybody. 
But when we sell direct to you guys and we do it through the 3D Builder, we build the guitars that you guys want, not the guitars that the guitar buyer wants. Um, so or the, stop, the shop owner wants. So we're, we're building the guitar that you want and you, we get to make them as unique as you are uh, with these unique finishes, unique inlays. And, uh, and to me, that's a much more rewarding process. And I think for you guys, the owners, I think it's a much more rewarding process as well. So it does mean that it's harder to find Emerald guitars to try. Now, we are very soon going to announce something on that with an ambassador program where we're going to connect Emerald owners all around the world with uh, pot uh, potential Emerald owners and see if we can connect you guys together um, so, that, uh, so that you guys get to show off your guitars. Um, so that's something we're working on. Hopefully we can put that all packaged together very soon. Um, so uh, so that's, what, that's what's going on. That's what I'm excited about this week. And, uh, and these are the guitars that we completed this week. So let's have a look. Um, the first one we have on the rack is going to Peter in California. Uh, another guitar to California. Uh, we, we sell a lot of guitars to California and that's a place that I really, really love going to. Um, so, uh, so this is an X7. And if you don't know about the X7, it's, a, it's our parlor size guitar. It's a more compact body. It's a 24 inch scale, which is a little bit shorter than our standard 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, really nice, um, compact, contoured body. Sounds beautiful, plays beautifully. And, uh, and this one just looks beautiful. So this is finished in Koa, uh, Flame Koa. And um, it's just got that beautiful uh, iridescence, that holographic look that we get from Koa, it just glows. Uh, it's got the black fret, uh, carbon fretboard here. We've got the, um, the adjustable bridge uh, with the, uh, the six graph tech piezos in here. And we've got an amber back and sides. So that's a, a really nice combination there to start with. Now, this one is, uh, is quite a customized and it shows you, you know, what we can do on the 3D Builder. Uh, so uh, this is a, our standard X7 but with fan frets added, which is the main customization here. Now, if you're on the 3D Builder, it doesn't visualize that on the 3D Builder, uh, unfortunately, but it is a choice that you can select. Um, it was just too hard for us to, uh, to engineer that at this stage um, in, the, in the graphics. But um, this has got a scale length of 24 to 25 inches. So, uh, so it's taken the benefit of that shorter scale length, but adding an extra little bit of length on the, on the subs or sort of on the base side here. Um, so, uh, so the low E is a 25 inch scale. Um, so it's got a little bit more tension on the base and uh, 24 inch on the, on the high E here. So um, that really works well. Gives you a great balance across the, the register. Uh, looks great and, uh, and functions great. What I really like here is we've got the black in lace. So uh, we've got the Harborica, which has a lot of black in here. Um, you've got these really nice contrasting colors between lights, grays, and, uh, and blacks. And, um, and then we've got the black carbon, that black fade that ties it all together. We've got the black car uh, carbon fretboard, but then with a black inlay. And it's black on black, but it's uh, two quite different shades and two contrasting um, types of surfaces. So really, the, uh, the black inlay is gloss, uh, where there's a satin finish. On the, on the fretboard. And I, I just, I love how it's subtle, but really, really works. And, um, and that's, a, that's a new option for us. And we're really, I think it's gonna be quite a popular one. Uh, we're really happy to add that. This has got the, the GraphTech piezos combined with the K&K &K Pure Minis inside and, uh, and the black carbon back and sides. So, uh, so take a look at that. What a wonderful guitar design. So, uh, so that's also going to California to Danny. And uh, now we're going a little bit further north. We're going up into Canada to Ontario. And this one's going out to Chris. So this is a, uh, oh, sorry. I actually said an X7. Uh, and it just shows you how close they are. This is an X10. And um, the way that, uh, that you know the difference between them is uh, it's a slightly bigger body, but only subtly, but it's a, it's a longer scale length and different headstock design. So, uh, so this is the X10. This is our, our more compact, um, uh, full scale length guitar. Really nice uh, stage guitar, or if you just like a more compact design um, for, uh, for personal playing as well. This one's finished in green carbon. It's got the, the white dots on the fretboard. 
and uh, gold hardware and green carbon back and sides. So, um, so subtle difference. Let's just look at the two of them side by side. Uh, body size is just it's about this is about half an inch wider. Uh, there's not that much in it, and um, but the longer scale length. So the the X7 uh, body meets at the 12th fret, and on the X10 it meets at the 14th. So, um, so a few little details there, a few little changes, and uh, but yeah, very very similar guitars that do two very different things. So then we've got the Virtuo. So we're going to Scott in Florida, and um, this is uh, the Virtuo in black carbon, and I really like just a straight black carbon finish on here. Uh, looks great on a Virtuo. You get that uh, that more kind of modern, almost industrial kind of look from the carbon, uh, which looks fantastic with the black hardware, uh, the black Fisherman's, uh, the black knobs here, black Odo 510s, and black carbon on the back and sides. So uh, it's a really great look with all that carbon finish. And uh, yeah, it's such a fantastic performing guitar. If you don't know about the Virtual, um, definitely go to the YouTube channel and look for the videos that'll showcase just how all the controls work, what it's all about, what it sounds like. But uh, in a snapshot, it's uh, got Fishman Fluence humbuckers. You got six Graftech piezos here. You have got MIDI connectivity. You have got volume controls to blend them all together on the guitar, and uh, you've got the three voices that the Fishman Fluence give you as well. So uh, very, very, very versatile guitar. Very comfortable to play, and uh, yeah, looks great too. So the next one is going to Douglas in Arizona. Very similar spec. Uh, except this one has uh, has the, the Celtic knot fret uh, inlays on the fretboard and uh, finished in silver with a little gold figure of eight on the 12th fret. So, um, so yeah, just a, a subtle difference between the two, but again, just makes it that little bit more unique. Then we have Thomas in New York. And, um, and this is a beautiful one. Uh, again, same virtue. This one's finished in Powell Ferro veneer and got a really nice uh, coloration to it. Very sharp uh, colors and detail going on here. Really nice iridescence in that wood as well. And um, finished with the black fade, just ties it in. Gold hardware, I think, is a really nice choice in this because there is sort of like a bright gold that's, uh, that's running down this little vein in the center of the veneer. Uh, the gold knobs and, uh, and then gold Celtic knots for the inlay on the fretboard and a black carbon back and sides. Very nice. Then we've got Dan in Florida. And uh, this Virtue is, um, is finished in, uh, I almost forgot, Candy Stripe Paduk. Uh, you can see why it's called Candy Stripe Paduk. It's got the candy stripes, it's got the reds and, uh, and the light browns. And um, I, I really like this one actually, It's it's got, the narrower stripes, I think, uh, really can be quite striking. And I love the fact that it's essentially got, uh, got five stripes running across it here. So it's got a, a lot of stripes. Sometimes it's big blocks of color. Uh, sometimes it's the narrow stripes. But, uh, but yeah, this one uh, really, really works well. Gold hardware is a great option with that one. And um, the gold uh, inlays on the fretboard here and a vibrant red back and sides. I think that's very, very nicely pointed. Great color combinations and a beautiful guitar. Now, Ken in Texas, we're moving it up to the X20. So the X20 is our big sort of dreadnought size guitar, uh, full body, full sound, uh, great balance. The X20 is great balance between sort of the mids, basses and trebles. It's, um, it's a great guitar for finger picking, great guitar for strumming. It really is our all rounder and for that reason, it's our best seller. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a great guitar in the Emerald lineup for a long time now. Um, nicely finished with uh, the Graftech piezos with the k, k Pure Minis inside. I love that pickup system. Um, actually, we should maybe talk a little bit about pickup systems and why we choose them because I get asked a lot, you know, can we not put, uh, you know, say a, a Fishman Acoustic Matrix in there or why we not use uh, the LR Bags um, Anthem on board system anymore or you know there's so many different pickup systems out there and the reality is 
You might have a beautiful guitar that sounds great with your Fishman system, or you might have a great guitar that sounds great with your LR bag system. But what sounds good in one guitar doesn't necess necessarily sound good in another. So with our guitars, because of the specific um, way that they, they operate when they're amplified and, and how they resonate and things, they maybe need a different type of pickup system than a different guitar. So, uh, so there's no one size fits all. Um, so we have chosen pickup systems that I believe suit our guitars best. And, uh, and with this system, I think this really suits what an emerald is all about. We have the adjustable bridge, which uh, I love. I think it's, a, it's an innovation for acoustic guitars. It gives you still a really great acoustic sound, but gives you all that adjustability. And uh, I love that fact. Uh, I love that we can set it up just to absolutely perfect playing height. Uh, we can very easily set it up for perfect intonation. The intonation is probably almost the most important thing. If you want to change the different set of strings, the intonation points can be, uh, can be quite a bit different. And uh, just allows you with a, a little screwdriver here to move the, the saddles back and forward and, uh, and adjust the intonation. And, um, and with this, we've combined it with K&K &K Pure Minis inside. They pick up the whole body of the guitar give you that more kind of microphonic type sound. Uh, if you do any percussive stuff, it picks up the, the body tapping and that kind of stuff. And uh, with two volume controls here, it very nicely allows you to blend those two together. And uh, the other thing that we've done on this is it also, this is a, a mono and stereo output jack. That's a really nice system in that it allows you to split that signal. Take a, If you put a stereo cable in here, you can split that signal, take it to two different sources and do two different things, handle them differently, uh, EQ them differently, and uh, just allows a lot of control over what you do from your guitar, uh, from an amplification point of view. Or if you want to be simple, plug a mono uh, jack in here and uh, just blend them on board. But, um, but I really believe very strongly in this pickup system. Uh, I just, I, I think it gives a lot of versatility, great sound, and um, you, you have to dial it in, you have to get it right but when you get it right, it can sound absolutely superb. So uh, that's just a little bit about the pickup systems that's in there. Now, uh, this one's going to Germany to, I guess I should have asked how to pronounce this, U-W-E, it would be U-E, uh, something like that. Um, so uh, I apologize, I'm sure I've got that wrong. Um, so this one's going to Germany, another X-20. Uh, very similar specification. The only difference in this one is uh, that it's got the, the dots instead of the, the ring inlays. And this one has the chrome hardware, uh, whereas the other one had, uh, had the black. So um, again, another beautiful X20, that same pickup system and uh, that beautiful contoured body. Now, another X20, uh, this one's going to Kurt in Florida. You kind of see a trend, like if you, if you watch your videos um, quite a lot, you'll probably pick up certain places we sell a lot of guitars to. And, uh, and it probably speaks a lot for what Carbon does really well, and that's deal with um, uh, extreme temperatures and humidity and all those sort of things. So like we've got two there to California, we've got Florida, we've got Arizona, we've got Florida, we've got another Florida, we've got Texas. You know, so uh, Illinois, yeah, I, I've lived up that direction. I know what that can be like in the summer. Um, so we, we kind of see trends, you know, we, I think Arizona and Florida are probably the two states that we sell most guitars to. Arizona in the summer, uh, it gets so dry, dries out your, your wooden guitars, they crack. Um, dry is probably the worst possible thing for a guitar. Florida, that terrible humidity, it gets so humid, your guitar, like a sponge, starts to soak in wood and uh, it can really, really affect the tone of a guitar. So Arizona probably is, suffers more from a structural point of view. Florida, I would say, is more from a tonal point of view. You know, a guitar that becomes saturated and damp, it can be, you know, uh, yeah, you guys know, it, it, it can really change your guitar. So, um, so yeah, carbon guitars don't change. So you can take a flight from Arizona to Florida in the summer, go from 5% humidity to 100% humidity, and the guitar is not going to change. So, um, so that's a, a really good thing to bear in mind when you think about our guitars. So, uh, so this one, as I say, is going to Kurt in Florida, and uh, this one is finished in a Powell Ferro veneer, 
uh, again with the X20. This is a, a purely acoustic version, so no pickup built into this one. And uh, which is a nice option if you're not going to use a pickup, if you're just playing it at home, um, then uh, or you just like doing acoustic jams or something like that, don't bother about a pickup. Um, red, red carbon back and sides with the Powell Ferro. Looks beautiful. So, last one is going to Steve in Illinois. And. Uh, this is an X20 with our American flag on it. And so this is something we've done a lot. It, it, we've done a lot of these American flags, but each one's been unique. And, uh, and the story of it is, uh, is that an, an artist came to us, a musician came and asked for an American flag to be painted onto his guitar. Um, I went and managed to find this incredible airbrush artist called Phil Atkinson, and, uh, and he painted that first one. And then from that on, it's, uh, it kind of became a thing. It was only a one-off and other people saw it and liked it and asked for it. And, uh, and we've done quite a few of them over the years, uh, as well as you know, other designs that Phil has done for us. But um, it's been a really, really great collaboration with Phil over the years. And, uh, and the concept was just to make it look like a, it was uh, wrapped with an old vintage flag. And, um, and I think he captures it so well. I love how he does the stars. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's just beautiful. So wonderful work with Phil Atkinson. It's a, a wonderful X20. It's got an Eller Bags Element pickup system in here. Uh, it's uh, got the Chrome hardware. And uh, let's have a little close up there on, that, on Phil's name. So, um, so check out Phil Atkinson. Uh, you'll be able to find his, uh, his music page. Uh, or sorry, not his music page, his art page. Uh, I think on Instagram is probably the best place to find them. But, uh, but that's it for this week. It's a really nice selection of guitars. Uh, I also want to tell you about a video that we recorded earlier in the week, uh, or two videos. Um, we recorded two videos just showcasing our stock. And what I did, uh, we've got about 310 guitars in stock at the moment. I pulled together uh, 50 of my favorites. Uh, 25 of them were on our more um, I guess are more unusual guitars, so like the harp guitars, uh, chimeras, um, amicus, 12 strings, all that kind of stuff. And then the other was all our six string guitars. So, uh, so you'll be able to find those on our YouTube channel. You'll be able to find them uh, on our Facebook page. We'll be putting them out in the coming days. But, um, but yeah, really nice video just talking about the different elements of our current stock. And I've got a lot of beautiful guitars that are coming through there. Uh, a reminder as well that you know we build stock, we don't just build them all black carbon or something. Uh, all our stock guitars really are custom guitars. Um, myself and Anthony uh, design the guitars and uh, we use a 3D builder to design them. And, uh, and then we build them here and available for stock. So for those guys that don't have the patience to wait uh, six or eight weeks for a custom guitar to be made, which I think is a pretty short period, then uh, you can buy a stock guitar. So, uh, so two great ways to do it. Um, I think that's it. I think I don't have any other news for you except, um, you know, it's uh, coming into the summer here and uh, it's been a great year so far. Um, we're going to be ultra, ultra busy, I think, over the next couple of weeks. On the back of that uh, Dream Guitar competition, we've had a, a massive influx of inquiries. So, uh, so if you have sent in an inquiry, um, uh, the guys might take maybe a, a little day extra to get back to you, but we are we try and get back to everybody. If you send a message in one day, we try and get back the next day. If you send in a message on a Friday, please beware that over the weekend the sales guys aren't working. So maybe if you send it in a Friday uh, afternoon American time, we've already gone home, so we might not see that to Monday morning Irish time. Um, so always bear that in mind and just give us a little bit of grace. But we, we try to get back to absolutely everybody within 24 working hours. Um, so, uh, so that's how we, we operate here. Uh, we did have a, the internet went down yesterday here, so I know that caused chaos. So we are a little bit on the back foot this week. So, um, so yeah, if you're watching this Friday evening, uh, hopefully you've had a, a reply for us from us. Um, but uh, yeah, we have been certainly 